Kellogg Institute for International Studies was founded in 1982 and it very quickly became a powerhouse for the study of Latin America and democratization. I'm joined now by Paolo Carroza, director of the Kellogg Institute, Patrick Salemi, a Notre Dame student, and Steve Reifenberg, the executive director of the Kellogg, uh, Kellogg Institute. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. Paolo, tell us a little bit about where the uh, Kellogg Institute is today. Well, Megan, the Kellogg Institute is central to the mission of the university in, in so many ways. It, it represents one of the main ways in which we take the high-level academic work that's being done by our faculty and by our students and make it really relevant to some of the most pressing problems in the world today. As you mentioned for the introduction, uh, we made a name for the Kellogg Institute in addressing the problems of dictatorship and democracy in Latin America over the last 30 years. We still work a lot on issues of democracy and the quality of democracy in the world, trying to strengthen it in Latin America and elsewhere. But at the same time, the Kellogg Institute's evolved to address new issues that are important to the world. In addition to democracy, our other core theme is human development. Uh, we've expanded from Latin America to do a lot of work on Africa and other parts of the world as well. And so through the interdisciplinary work that goes on at the Institute, through the involvement of students like Patrick and others, uh, we bring to bear the best of Notre Dame to try to address some of the problems that people around the world are really facing. Poverty, authoritarianism, uh, their desire for living flourishing lives. And Patrick, how did you get involved in the Kellogg Institute? Well, I kind of have a non-traditional approach to it. A lot of people come into Notre Dame as freshmen and get involved in some of the international scholars programs or the international development minor. Um, but it wasn't until my junior year after studying abroad in Mexico that I really wanted to do something uh, that kind of was had more of a global reach and that's where uh, some of the faculty here on campus who are fellows of the institute kind of helped me to foster that foster that and uh, find some of the programs that Kellogg offers such as the internship program uh, where I spent last summer abroad in Peru working in the hospitals and clinics and so now um, I'm going to be here as an international development fellow and Steve tell us a little bit about the international development develop fellow program Sure. Well, what's fascinating about Notre Dame is there are so many opportunities for students to engage in the world, to engage in Africa and Latin America and Asia, and um, that many of those, though, take place while the students are here in, in, in residence as a, as a student. And, and what we were looking for, a lot of our training, particularly in the area of international development, has been trying to prepare students to go out in the world to have a skill set to really deal with complex and important pro, uh, problems related to human development. And so this is a new initiative that's really linking, building bridges with some important partners that we have in the world once students graduate. And so Patrick will be going for one year, working with an organization a lot of people know, um, Partners in Health, which was founded by, by Paul Farmer. He'll build on his experiences in Mexico, and he'll be working um, at the Partners in Health um, offices um, called Compañeros en Salud in Chiapas, Mexico. Patrick, like, like we just talked about, you're graduating and then moving on to that next chapter. Talk a little bit about what you can expect next year. Um, well, like Steve said, I'm going to be going back to Mexico. I will be in the state of Chiapas, which is, a, which is in southern Mexico and it borders Guatemala. Um, and basically, I'm going to be helping work with some of the research programs that they have with people living with uh, chronic diseases such as diabetes and hypertension, as well as to help try and recruit and manage some of the volunteers, both from Mexico and the United States. Um, while they are down there in Mexico. And do you, I, obviously it's a long way away, do you have any plans for when you come back or not? Yeah, I actually have um, acceptance to the University of Buffalo School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences, so after being abroad for a year, I plan on coming back to receive my MD and hopefully continue doing work abroad. Oh, that's great. So. Steve, why is it important to have a program like this? Well, I'm convinced that generally programs like the Kellogg Institute help students um, engage in the world in really thoughtful ways. The, the problems that the world confronts are enormously complex, and the ability to kind of bring the best that a university has to bear, as Paulo was suggesting, on its research, but also on the training it does with students, and to kind of build bridges, whether it be on research, whether it be on internships, whether it be opportunities, more professional development opportunities like the ones Patrick is are, uh, developing. Enormously important, and it's one of the ways that we stay in touch and reach out with our alumni, around the world who are enormous supporters of this, this kind of work. And I think the alumni around the world really um, make an enormous difference in all the programs that we, um, that we carry out. And Paolo, talk a little bit about how something like the IDF 
it helps the re research component of something like the Kellogg Institute? Well, you know, it starts with the really talented students that we have at Notre Dame and giving them opportunities to go out into the world and really put the things that they've learned here uh, to work for people, um, to do, you know, to do the, the kind of work that represents the ideals of Notre Dame in the world. That's the first thing. Once they're there, you know, what we hope happens, what we expect to happen over time is that the kinds of ideals and values and principles that Notre Dame represents and instills in our students make their way into the development world in this case, right? Uh, through the, the, you know, the expansion of the Notre Dame network into a large, uh, uh, you know, set of, of organizations around the world. Uh, but then, the, you know, the key uh, sort of aspect at the end of that process is that it comes back to Notre Dame too. And that's where it really then in, informs our research and our practice mm -hmm. here. Because we have then a network of former students, of alums, of people who are connected to the Notre Dame family, who are around engaged in really difficult practical issues around the world. And their practice becomes a, you know, a link uh, for us to the reality of what's happening on the ground. So that our research can be not simply in South Bend, Indiana, but research that really takes in the experience of the world and the reality of what's happening on the ground places. And that really challenges us to think more deeply about what problems people are facing and what the best solutions might be to those problems. Like you said, a great program for Notre Dame, a great program for the whole world. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us.